From MMA legend Chael Sonnen calling Still Knocks nothing but an underdog to UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya hoping for an upset. Here's what the pros think of Robert Whittaker versus Drikus Duplessis. For starters, Sonnen thinks it's going to go exactly as expected. When it comes to the middleweight division, there aren't a lot of names who'd enjoy going up against someone as dominant as the Reaper. He's been around for ages now, and when it comes to his track record inside the octagon, the Kiwi is easily one of the greatest middleweights of this era. And as fight fans gear up for his next performance at UFC 290, MMA legend Chael Sonnen couldn't help but praise the former champion, calling him the clearly favorite going into this matchup. If you've been following Sonnen for a while now, you know how he tends to share the craziest theories when it comes to controversial fights. And speaking of controversial fights, he thinks the battle between Whitaker and Duplessis at UFC 290 is nothing but a way to polish the African. Or in other words, since Uncle Dana has announced that the winner will go on to fight for the title later this year, and considering how Drikus already has a rivalry cooking up with Adesanya, this is nothing but an attempt to shine him up for a thriller against the Nigerian champion. But Chael doesn't think that's how it's going to play out. It's going to go exactly as expected, with the Reaper putting on a dominant performance and doing some serious damage to secure his spot for yet another shot at Israel and the middleweight championship. But despite the clear prediction, Sonnen still expects it to be a good matchup. It's just not going to be a shocker or an upset, since Drikus is the underdog going into the fight. Plus, UFC lightweight Dan Hooker believes Duplessis is in for a long night at the office. I think this is perhaps the most interesting prediction of all. While everyone continues to talk about who will win and whatnot, Hooker thinks the African didn't even have to take this fight to get a shot at the title. But how does that even work? Well, look at it this way, because Still Knox has been going back and forth with the champ for quite some time now. A meeting inside the octagon was bound to happen. I mean, just think about it. Is there anyone who Izzy hasn't fought yet? Drikus is undoubtedly the most exciting prospect in the division, and provided he'd been a bit more careful with his cards. He could have just sat out, waited a couple of months, and star in a title fight without having to fight the dangerous Robert Whittaker. But since their meeting is officially scheduled for UFC 290, Hooker thinks it's extremely difficult now, since it's probably the toughest fight in the entire division. And it's not like he's counting the African out or something. He believes Drikus might just pull this off if things go his way. But as of right now, there's a higher likelihood that we'll see a third showdown between Adesanya and Whitaker. Oh, and Hooker also mentioned how Duplessis could have gotten a title shot, even if he fought Sean Strickland. I don't know about that, people. A win over Robert Whitaker just has so much more conviction and a solid claim for a title fight. But yeah, to sum it up, Dan doesn't fancy the 29-year-old's chances. Besides, does Drikus even have the gas tank for Whitaker? Heavyweight Chris Dawkins certainly doesn't think so. Without throwing any shade at Still Knox, Chris beautifully described why what he set out to do is nothing short of impossible. See, apart from packing some of the most monstrous striking power I've ever seen, Whitaker has an insane gas tank. His cardio is just out of this world. You can watch how fluid his movements are and how in control he is even in the later rounds of the fight. And at the 185 pounds division, that's super impressive. On the other hand, Dawkins doesn't believe Duplessis has enough to battle the Kiwi so late into the fight. So, if it ever does get to the third, the 29-year-old won't be able to survive since that's pretty much when Robert thrives. But yeah, Chris basically said it all boils down to the cardio factor. Everyone knows Duplessis can hit like a truck, but generating that firepower again and again in the fight will eventually become too difficult allowing Robert to dominate through his elite cardio. And I don't know if you've noticed or not, but Drikus does seem strained sometimes when he's fighting. It might just be because he exerts too much energy early in the bout. Who knows? He might even be able to solve this particular problem provided he's strategic in his approach, but the Reaper is just too good. Either way, Chris expects a decent matchup, but at the end of the day, it's the Kiwi who will walk away with the W. UFC bantamweight Cody Stamen took it one step ahead, picking Whitaker and claiming he even won the last fight against Israel. If you didn't know what pros thought of Robert, then here it is, believe it or not. Cody thinks he's the best fighter in the middleweight division. And regardless of the competition, whether it's Israel or Alex Pereira, the Reaper is by far the best there is. And when it comes to his fight against Duplessis at UFC 290, Stamen thinks the former champion has this one in the bag. But at the same time, 
Cody shared how Dreykus doesn't really get the credit he deserves, since he's much tougher than he looks and exceptionally good with his fists. Plus, you also have to look at how Whitaker has a history of not doing so well against taller guys. Sure, he's one of the most athletic fighters out there, but still Knox has long arms and legs, and Sean thinks Robert will need to watch his guard because Duplessis can end up surprising him. But obviously, the bantamweight fighter knows that's easier said than done. And when the bell finally sounds at UFC 290, the African will face the heat because with Whitaker, you're not just getting an opponent who hits hard. He's super fast and just continues to find ways to hurt you. He'll do anything to win. And with redemption on the horizon in the form of a title fight against Izzy, I think he'll put everything into this one to get that chance again. Plus, he has big fight experience. UFC lightweight Matt Frivola also weighed in on the matchup. And like the rest of the pros, he's picked Whitaker and thinks all the hype will officially be over at UFC 290. He talked about Dreykus being one of the wildest guys out there, but when it comes to fight game, he believes the Reaper is just too technical. And that's not all. He's been around for ages now. I mean, if you consider Izzy as the king of the division, let's not forget Whitaker's already fought him twice. And just like the Nigerian, Bobby Knuckles has also run right through the division. His last few performances have actually turned scary because he makes the competition look like they're a bunch of amateurs. And yeah, Matt admits Dreykus has been having a flawless time at the promotion, but Whitaker just has everything to weather the storm. Besides, I honestly can't even remember the last time when he wasn't in the top five ranked middleweights. So yeah, when Matt talks about Robert being in an entirely different league than Dreykus, I can't help but agree with him. By this point, you're probably wondering, is there anyone who believes Dreykus can win? Well, believe it or not, middleweight champion Israel Adesanya is actually rooting for him. Honestly, this isn't new from Izzy. He's always trying to hunt the next big thing. And since he's already conquered Whitaker twice, he wants to challenge himself by taking on exciting Dreykus Duplessis, who, believe it or not, even challenged Adesanya's claims of being an African champion. I'll save that for another day, though. But just because Izzy's rooting for him doesn't mean he thinks he'll win. He only wants Duplessis to come through because he thinks it'll be a good fight for him. But at the end of the day, it's going to be all about Whitaker. Not only is the Reaper much faster than him, but Israel also thinks he's fitter and stronger. And if you're wondering what he thinks about how things will play out, the last style bender predicts it'll end in the second with Whitaker getting a TKO or even possibly a KO. And if that doesn't happen, he has enough to outfight the African and let the fight go late in the third. Because if he can't seal it in the second, Izzy has doubts he won't be able to do it in the third. That's actually when his gas tanks come into play. So yeah, despite being a hot prospect at the promotion, no one thinks Duplessis wins this one. Anyway, from Adesanya picking his former opponent over the African to Sonnen completely counting Dreykus out. That's what the pros think of Whitaker versus Duplessis at UFC 290.